Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Mm. I figured that I would vlog today because it's Larry's birthday. He turned four and um, we just woke up a little while ago. Well, Finley's been up since like 7 a.m. Um, but Larry and I just woke up at like 11 and we started our day with just like a lot of cuddling and he just had some breakfast and I'm just gonna take you over to him now and he can tell you about the rest of his morning himself, okay? Hi, Lucher. Four years old, Mr. Cutie Mc, McHead. McNigget Head. Wow. So how was your day so far? Was it pretty good? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> okay, just come do the big cuddle. Okay, the big lay. Larry and I are gonna go into Portland today and do the same thing we did last year for his birthday and just have a mother-son day. And we're just gonna go around 23rd Ave where Lush, the Hip Hound, and salt and straw are. I'm gonna hit up all three of those places. Yo, will you get some pints at salt and straw maybe? Sure. To start off, now that Larry is, you know, he's eaten his meal, he's like violently shaking right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna get him dressed in his birthday sweater and then we're gonna head out. Just me and my, my guy. <laughs> Finley's gonna stay here playing his most favorite game, Outer Worlds, <laughs> with the puppy. Yes. She's going for her first perfect day. I have no mistakes of pooping her pants inside. <laughs> so, we're hopeful. Yeah, we're holding on for hope here. She's had some decent days, but then she always ruins it at night by like doing a pee in the house or something. So now that she's four months old and dachshunds are notoriously hard to potty train, we're really cracking down. We're saying, hey, Larry was potty trained by five months old, so you need to get your act together. And so we're going up for a strong day today. She's eating her food just to get all of her poops ready for you. I know. All right, I just went and got all of my Lush empties and put them in my purse here so I can get a free fucking face mask for bringing them back. All of the products I'm bringing back, some of them I've had since like 2014, literally keeping them for so long to be able to give them back. But honestly, thank God Lush even has an empties policy, right? So I'm gonna bring those back. I'm gonna go to the Hip Hound. I'm gonna go to Salt and Straw. I already told you guys this. Larry and I are gonna leave now. Come on up, buddy. He has to be in my lap every time we get into the car. <laughs> okay, I'll probably see you guys when we get to Portland. Are you ready to go, Mr. Beecher? Our first stop is Lush, okay? I did find a parking space for my giant truck. And as I was parking, this girl yelled at my car and was like, your truck is amazing! So shout out to her. Didn't get to say thank you. She just screamed it and ran away. Are you birthday peeing on everything today? Come on, we gotta keep walking, buddy. <laughs> you don't know how to act. <laughs> Do you want these? <laughs> Which ones? Which ones? Is that so delicious? That's for you. It is fall in Portland. It's so pretty down here. Our ice cream has been gotten. I got the roasted peach and cornbread stuffing or something like that. They have a bunch of Thanksgiving flavors now, which is wild. I feel like every time I'm on 23rd, I meet a subscriber and not just like walking around, but all of my followers like work at the places on 23rd, so. I met, I actually met her a couple months ago, but I re-met again, re-saw again, Kat, who works at Hip Hound. <laughs> Larry just pulled me because he saw a squirrel. And then also one of my followers works at Salt and Straw. She said she's 22 now and has been watching me since I was in, since she was in middle school. So I was like, wild. Anyways, I'm going on a walk and eating my ice cream now. Taking in the fall colors. I know it might be kind of loud with the window open, but it's so freaking hot in here if I don't have it open. Also, my lens, I swear it's not even dirty, but it always has, it like forever has orbs all over the screen. It's very annoying. Um, but I'm about to leave, 23rd, 
and I thought I would be here for two hours, but I was really only here for one, so note to self next time. It doesn't take me two hours to go to three places. I'm very in and out. But did you guys see that little clip of Larry having his puppuccino? It was the cutest thing in the whole entire world. Uh, one of the ladies at the Hip Hound, I told her that it was his birthday because I knew that he would get more treats for free if, <laughs> if I told them. And she was like, you know, we give them a goat milk puppuccino with lamb meat on top if it's his birthday. And I said, can bring it out. <laughs> And she said it's really good for their gut health and he loved it normally. So in Oregon, it's legal to pump your own gas. I don't know if you guys know that if you obviously don't live here. I think in New Jersey, it's the same thing, but let me know in the comments below if New Jersey passed a law to like make that not a thing anymore. Anyways, whenever I go and I have Larry in the car and I'm seeing like a gas station attendant or whatever and they see Larry, they always give him a, one of those big biscuits and he always takes it in his mouth to be polite and then spits it out on the passenger seat and is like, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> And so I was very proud of him that he actually ate the lamb meat on top of the puppuccino. He was living for it. So I think that we had a really nice day. I got him, should I do a dog haul? I got an absurd amount of bones because Larry does not like toys, he likes bones. So I got him a bunch of bullies. And then I also could not resist getting him this little mushroom. But I don't think you, it sounds like this, do you even like it? If he doesn't like it, Rue likes it the stuffed animal toys. And then we're out of mini tennis balls, so I got him these little ones. But also, they both love to rip off the fuzz on these balls, so I got fuzzless ones too. So these are called chuckets. <laughs> and I don't think they have squeakers, they're just designed for like throwing really far. So he has a lot of options, and so does Rue. And I have even more bones that I didn't even show you in there. So I'd say that our day was a wild success. What do you think about today? You had a good time walking and pooping and peeing all over Portland? But insurance, so then there's the question of if doulas are going to be regulated or provided by a hospital or an insurance, then who are they really serving? We got our lawn mowed. We helped our neighbor Steve with his car on Halloween night because it got like stuck somewhere and broken down. So he volunteered to mow our lawn for us, but we didn't clean up any of the leaves. So it's just like fertilizing the ground with the leaves now and fertilizing the ground with all of the little poops everywhere from Miss Rue, wherever they are. All right, let's go on inside. Look at my pumpkin, by the way. I did a little fairy garden on the inside. Very fall out here. He got at the hip pound a um, goat milk puppuccino with lamb meat. Wow, was that tasty, Mr. Mary? It was, was awesome. Tasty? He loved it. Did you enjoy that, Mr. Mary? Do you want to see what else I have for you in here? Wow. Is that a duck penis? Some curly fries. Oh, braided sweet grass. Some braided sweet grass for you. Wow, some more curly fries. Hey. <laughs> mm, that looks delicious. What are all of these? Holy crap. You got no Hey, Larry, you're being really greedy on your birthday, huh? Actually, fun fact, not even all of these were for you, so. <laughs> I got all of these ones separate instead of getting just a, a bag of Uncle Larry's. Mm. Even though I got so many. Good boy, Larry. Good boy. It's not even your birthday, but you kind of had to get a little treat too, huh? That's so delicate. Such a delicate little light bully for you. Nice. You have the really tough guy bone over there, huh? You're Mr. Tough Guy. Yeah, only tough guys can actually 
chew on things like that. He's chewing the same thing she is. Don't tell him. <laughs> It's the best picture, Mr. Oh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> okay, if you can hear the video game in the background, I apologize. I can't find the friggin' remote to turn it down. I just made Larry this. It's his normal wet food, but then I poured a bunch of treats on it, and then I stuck this bully stick at the top of it as a special treat for him. Kind of like a birthday cake, but it's the best we have, buddy. Last year you got that chicken broth beer for your 21st birthday, and this year you get this delectable treat. Wow, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky fishy. Yeah. Yeah. Happy birthday, Mr. B-Shop. What do you want first, the bully? Yeah, you can have whatever you want. What are you gonna eat first? You're feeling a little unsure about it. Do you want help? <laughs> That's for you, Mr. Beecher. Wow, Larry. Lots of cookies in there for you. And you get to eat it on your pillow bed like a king. <laughs> You're so handsome in your squirrel sweater with your birthday treat, buddy. <laughs> the camera memory got full midway while I was filming that of him. And the camera turned off and it spooked him so he ran out of the bed. <laughs> but now he's back finishing off his treat. Are you done? You still have so much. How about the last little bits? Oh, it's not scary, buddy. You just ha you have trouble getting the last pieces out? Only on your birthday, okay? Otherwise, you gotta work for it. Oh, disgusting. There's still one in there. Wow, Larry. Is there anything you want to say to the camera now that you're four? Kiss my ass. <laughs> okay. No, really, Larry. What do you want to say? You love your dad? <laughs> that your breath stinks? That you want to switch to dry food to make your breath better or not so much? Maybe we'll ask the vet tomorrow what to do for your stinky breath. Oh, he just burped on me. <laughs> he says, fuck you, I like my lunches. <laughs> me and Larry are gonna end off the vlog here and just say thank you so much for watching his birthday video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and if you did and want more dog and or pet vlogs, you know, the pigs can vlog too, let me know. 
uh, leave me a comment down below or something like that and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Larry's leaving the frame. He doesn't even want to be in the outro. I don't even know if he wanted to be, he didn't even want this video made of him probably, but I, I made it happen and you know, Larry, I think we had a good time today. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Ring the notifications bell if you would like to be notified when I upload. Become a patron of mine if you would like to support my earnings for this month. And until my next vlog, which should be very soon, stay smiling. Bye guys. From me and my greasy bangs. And my little b-shirt. Oh, kind of cute, buddy.